So we have three statements, P, Q, and R. And we need to make uh, the standard truth values for each of them. Just remember how they go. It goes, oops, it goes, uh, for the first one, you do true, 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 true. Then you do false, 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 false. And then for Q, we do true, true, false, false. Sorry for the delay, it's just neater if I type it all out. And true, true, false, false. You can copy and paste the space, that'll be quicker. True, false, false. And then up here, we're gonna alternate everyone. And this, this pattern helps us get all the possible combinations of true and false values for each of these options. That's why we do it in you know, this order. There's, you could have done it in a different order. You could have done the first column be false, true, false, true, false, true. But um, lots of different ways of doing it. If we all just stick with one pattern, they'll make it easier for us to show each other our work. But, um, okay, so we need not the negation of not Q and R and the biconditional not P. <laughs> There's a bunch of stuff going on there. Um, so let's first start with... Um, let's quickly fill out not Q. So that is just the negation of everything we see in the Q column. And I'm just reading it left to right. That's why I started with not Q. Um, and then I need to have R, which I have right here. I don't need to fill anything out there. So maybe we're ready to do the parentheses here. We can fill out negation of Q and R. So this, the, the negation of Q column needs to be true and the R column needs to be true. So negation of true and negation of Q is false, R is true. So this is false. They're both they're not both true. Not both true. They're both true in the third row. Not both true. Not both true. Not both true. They're both true in the, in the seventh row. So that is that column. And then we're taking the negation of that column that we just made. So the negation of negation of Q and R this is getting pretty messy. But we can do what they want us to do. So this just means we're taking everything in that uh, column directly to the left. And we're changing their values from true to false or false to true. Now it looks like we're ready for the biconditional. So the way the biconditional, oh, actually, we need a not P comp, but maybe we can get by without it. The negation of P just means false, 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 true, 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 true. Okay, so biconditional is true if this is true and this is true, or it, uh, the biconditional row would be true if this is false and this is false. So they both have to match true, true, or false, false. And if that's the case, we get to mark it true. So the negation of P would be false, 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 true, 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 true. Um, so negation of P is false. This crazy thing we just made is true. They're not both the same. We're going to mark this F for the first row. We've got false. We've got true. So this is another F. We've got false. we got false. Oh, they're both false. So we get to mark this true because it's the biconditional. False, true. True, true. This was another case where it gets marked true. They're both true. They both match. So anytime they match, you're at six row, they both match. Seventh row, they don't match. Eighth row, they do match. They're both true in the eighth row. So that's the column you really want to be looking for in the options of Newton.